When the doldrums of formulaic video games have got you down, throw any sort of reason out the window and get ready to mainline pure unadulterated action into your eye holes with Bayonetta 3. Jump into the bombastic third installment of Bayonetta as Platinum continues the trend of frantic action brawler that feels like you're fighting in a kaleidoscope as the sequel brings a lot of hot new changes like fresh designs, monsters, mechanics, and a new voice actress that definitely gave the game a PR boost for better or worse, but mostly worse, while still somehow looking like it came out in 2014, that they do their best to hide with colorful particle effects every time you press a button. And the real marvel is how they were able to make it run as well as it does on the Switch in a franchise that still is very much an enjoyable action game that you know and love, but makes it hard not to feel like watching your grandma pole dance. But to be fair, if she slays, she still slays. Summon the dark arts with everyone's favorite exhibitionist, Bayonetta, as the fate of the world relies on her brand of sensual violence once again, this time against some sort of human hybrid monsters from another dimension where she'll find other versions of herself in different worlds who all conveniently die and leave her their weapons as she fights over the top bosses to collect the MacGuffin and eventually face the big bad she can't understand. What? I'm sorry, excuse me? Just one more time. In a pretty simple template of a narrative that doesn't do anything particularly out of the box, but is more than a good enough reason for a bunch of extra Bayo costumes and big-ass kaiju fights. Okay, look, it's not secret that most people are not playing this for the plot, and saying you do is like pretending to eat Taco Bell for the nutritional value. We all know why we get a Crunchwrap Supreme, and that's to challenge our Collins and God himself. Leap into the real meat and potatoes of Bayonetta 3, the combat that adds the addition of the Demon Slave System, allowing you to summon your demons more actively in battle, who control like you're directing your drunk friend to the bathroom, then frantically mash all the buttons to build combos and rack up points, right until you get hit on a missed dodge and you end up getting a silver automatically, and an adjustment to the usual Bayo formula that feels a little clunkier but is still pretty satisfying until they force you to play Viola, a weeaboo witch with a katana who won't stop hammering in the fact that her name is Viola. Viola. My name is Viola. The name's Viola. That looks like they listened to No Doubt once and made it their whole personality. That basically makes you play a completely different style with no witch time dodging but a very weird parry that feels like they are trying to do a Virgil from Devil May Cry that somehow was able to translate all your junior high embarrassment into gameplay and ultimately makes it feel like a chore in between the game for no real reason. All of that combined with a bunch of minigames thrown in creates a gaming experience that's all over the place, which might not always be successful, but constantly gives your ADD addled mind something new to do. That and they let me run over things with the train, I feel like that makes up for a lot of stuff. Choo choo! So slip on those guns and get ready for some action in a Bayonetta that's definitely another one of those that might feel a little archaic, but still gives your simple crocodile brain something to gawk at while it squirts out dopamine. I mean, I love a grand mature experience, but sometimes you just need to chug a couple of tiny Jaegers and try to roundhouse kick some stuff. Starring Bayonetta, Hot Topic Pink, Totally Spy, you see me rodin, you hatin, the amazing Milady, literally Tilda Swinton, and evil Zordon, Bayonetta, and the multiverse of Dummy Mommies. Okay, this game just goes to show you how beautiful women can get away with anything. Like for instance, I wear a suit made of human hair, they just call the police. I mean, come on, how is that fair? Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. Activating Combat Mode Welcome to the universe where we worship the ultimate golden camel. I don't know, but I've been told honest trailers never gets old. You've got a lot to learn before you beat me. Try again, kiddo. Happy New Year. Wee.